YouTube in the past has consistently argued that their algorithms, policies, are often geographically dependent. That's something that we were told. It's something that many of you have been told. If that's the case, I would implore YouTube, could you please explain to me, your shareholders, and in all likelihood, a congressional hearing, why you believe it most appropriate in serving your audience to block the content of a United States presidential candidate exclusively in the country in which she is running? On Friday, Hillary Clinton, Rodham, in case you thinking of someone else, Hillary Rodham Clinton uh, claimed that Tulsi Gabbard, well, she claimed that there were people who were Russian assets, and then it was confirmed that it was Tulsi Gabbard, right? Confirmed that she was talking about Tulsi Gabbard, accusing her of being a Russian asset. Uh, and Tulsi's response had her trending. Number one on Twitter, uh, I think it was, was this on Friday? It was last yeah. Friday. That's when we were looking into this. Okay, so she was a number one trend. Actually, I think like number one through four, because one might have been Tulsi, another might have been Russian asset, another might have been Gabbard. The point is, she was the belle of the ball, with many verified check marks, by the way, and pundits um, running with the story, fighting over whether she was a Russian plant. So during this time, we decided to, again, while Tulsi Gabbard was in the spotlight, run some comparative searches on YouTube. When we set our VPN, so I want to be clear, this is the crescendo. Share it, pirate this in case it gets removed. When we set our VPN to a non-United States country and we search for Tulsi Gabbard, her channel and the videos from her channel all showed up first. Yet again, when we switched our searches to the United States, however, nothing exclusively in the United States, the country in which she is currently running for president, you would receive no results from Tulsi Gabbard's channel or her videos until scrolling past the first page. Here's a video screen recording, and just in case people try to say that we've doctored it. By the way, these video screen recordings will be available as clips on YouTube should you want to use them uh, for articles. So, that Friday, you search, she's trending one on Twitter, all of a sudden, boom. Valve is pinched. You can't find her exclusively in the United States. You can if you're in Germany. You can if you're in Spain. United States, however, nothing. By Sunday, once the trend of Hillary Clinton's character assassination had subsided, the results for the U.S. and other countries were magically switched back to being identical. Now, it's, it's, it's worth noting that her channel is uh, right now as far as I know it, omitted from both sets of results. So everyone out there, take some screenshots, do some VPN experiments. I assume they're going to be fixing this once this video is out, and I assume that someone there is watching this right now, so they may not necessarily be consistent. You don't always have the same result twice. Um, even though, the, by the way, they're the same, her, her channel is not as prominent as it was before. It, let me say this, Tulsi Gabbard is not my candidate. Like I said, I wouldn't vote for her. But this, this is chilling especially when you consider, let's think about this for a second. Again, we stumbled across this accidentally. I don't know if anyone else has proof that there is someone who flips a switch on YouTube to make your channel a part of the preferred channels network, whatever the hell it's called. We only found out because of the Vox Edpocalypse. And then we only found out because I flippantly mentioned that this reeks of election meddling. All of a sudden a phone call and someone says we, we remedied that scenario. That means that if someone can flip that switch and it's not entirely algorithmic, or it's almost as though the algorithms are determined by a human being initially, it's not right. iRobot. That means that same person can flip off the switch for someone like Tulsi Gabbard. Hmm. All of this is spine tingling. It, it is hair-raisingly scary. And if you're interested in a fair election, whether for the presidency or, or just for the Democratic uh, candidate for the presidency, this should raise some major red flags. The influence that big tech has and their willingness to manipulate information in the face of what should be a democratic election, regardless of whether it's happening to someone I support or not, is terrifying. So let me address some arguments, by the way, that I know will be presented. And I, I'm, I hope that you are being skeptical of this. I encourage you to be, and I encourage you to run your own tests. YouTube and Google will inevitably claim uh, one of three things or several because this is what we've run into, this is always what they claim publicly. One, that it's simply algorithmic, it's not. Again, this channel is singularly unique in that we're able to prove that it's not because our channel was fixed by someone manually. Someone flipped a switch, someone could unflip that switch for Tulsi Gabbard. Two, YouTube may try to pass this off as an accident, a result of a poor lower, lower level employee uh, with bad judgment claiming that this was an oversight and that the individual didn't make the proper corrections and they have since addressed the issue. Don't buy that either. 
okay? Why? We've been in direct contact with decision makers at YouTube who are aware of these problems and have been trying to uh, do damage control to fix the problems, okay? It would stand to reason that the status of a current presidential candidate who is actively suing YouTube would be under the same kind of close watch from the world's biggest information and technology company, and that she wouldn't be someone pawed off, uh, pawned off on some patsy for the higher-ups. Doesn't pass a sniff test. Three, this is another argument they'll use, and this is most important. YouTube in the past has consistently argued that their algorithms, policies, that they are the results, um, well, they argue that it's a result of algorithms, but they do argue, let me be clear here, that the algorithms, the policies, the results that you find are often geographically dependent. That's something that we were told, it's something that many of you have been told. And that's because it's geographically dependent because it's designed to best serve viewing audiences with the most appropriate content for their search. I've heard this argument made a whole lot, and I expect it to be made now. If that's the case, I would implore YouTube, please, because I know someone, I know someone there is watching, could you please explain to me, your shareholders, and in all likelihood, a congressional hearing, why you believe it most appropriate in serving your audience to block the content of a United States presidential candidate exclusively in the country in which she is running? Hey, I hope you enjoyed this clip. If you don't, these are the ABCs of me, baby. You can just click next video and put it in double speed. Of course, search doesn't necessarily work. Subscriptions, notifications don't necessarily work. Just bookmark this page, check in. We do a new video every single day, except for Sunday. And if you don't want this content to disappear, join Mug Club at lighterwithcredit.com slash mug club. It's only $69 if you're a student, veteran, or active military. And um, if you don't, you know, listen, I, I don't want to say that you're hellbound, but it, it doesn't look good for you.